Let's now see how all these individual key exchange boxes fit together into one fully operational interlocking system. Here's our feeder circuit from before. As we can see, all of the equipment is open and the ground switch is closed, so the circuit is probably out for maintenance. Let's now get the circuit ready for energisation. The first stage in this procedure is to open the ground switch. To do this, there's no preconditions. Therefore, let's do it. Once the ground switch is open, both of the keys from the A103B interface box can be released. The next stage is to close isolator A103. To allow us to do this, we need to make sure circuit breaker A102 is open and the ground switch is open. This is the case, so therefore, let's transfer the isolator key back to the isolator control box. Together with the circuit breaker open key, and the ground switch open key. All of the keys are now in place and we can therefore close the isolator. As soon as the isolator is closed, this releases the A103 close key as expected, but it also releases the circuit breaker A102 open key. This key is only trapped whilst the isolator is moving. As soon as the isolator reaches the fully open or fully closed position, the key becomes available again. The other two keys in the box are trapped, as shown by their diagonal position. This now prevents us from closing the ground switch. We now want to close the circuit breaker. The condition for closing the circuit breaker is that the isolator must be closed, and we have the circuit breaker open key back in its position. These two keys are now available, so let's transfer them to the circuit breaker key box. Which now allows us to close the circuit breaker. The two keys are now trapped in the circuit breaker key box, which prevents us from opening the isolator. Let's now check to make sure that the sequence works safely in reverse. To open the circuit breaker, there are no preconditions. So let's do it. The two keys are now released and we move them back to the isolator. Before opening it, the A103 close key is now trapped in the box, making it impossible to close the circuit breaker. The other keys are now released and we return them to the ground switch key box before closing that. We've now fulfilled all of the interlocking conditions.